NASA is taking the next giant leap in exploration. The Ares-1 Crew Launch Vehicle will launch the Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle with six astronauts to the International Space Station around 2015. By 2020, the Ares-5 Cargo Launch Vehicle will have its first flight. Together, Ares-1 and Ares-5 will be the backbone of our nation's exploration strategy. The Ares 1X test flight, scheduled for 2009, will be the first flight of the Ares 1 crew launch vehicle. The first of two new rockets NASA is designing to take astronauts to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. These missions will advance the nation's technology while increasing our knowledge of other worlds and our own. Like Saturn V, Ares-1 and Ares-5 will undergo ground and flight tests to reduce risk and build mission capabilities. This mission will demonstrate our ability to fly and control a long cylindrical vehicle. Launching Ares-1 will be like balancing a pencil on the tip of one's finger. Ares-1X is powered by a four-segment solid rocket booster from the Space Shuttle inventory. The final Ares-1 vehicle will use a five-segment motor, so the test vehicle includes a segment simulator to match the shape and weight of Ares-1. The upper stage, Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle and Launch Abort System will be mass simulators only. The Ares 1X mission will also test leaner ground activities, including transportation, vehicle stacking, rollout, and mission control. The Ares 1X Mission Management Office will deliver the vehicle to Kennedy Space Center by autumn 2008. There, the vehicle will be stacked and integrated in the Vehicle Assembly Building. The Ares 1X flies like a javelin soaring upward in a high arc before splashing down in the Atlantic. It will launch from Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39B, which is being modified for Ares 1X. Onboard computers control the rocket's flight and transmit data to the ground during flight. Other data will be stored on board and recovered with the first stage after splashdown. Soon after launch, the vehicle fires its roll control system to orient it for flight. Once correctly positioned, the rocket will tend to roll around its direction of forward motion. The roll control system will fire as needed to counteract this roll. When the first stage is expended, pyrotechnic charges separate it from the upper stage simulator. The upper stage splashes down farther down range and is not recovered. The first stage falls back to Earth and deploys its parachutes for recovery. Ares 1X is an important step toward the new exploration capabilities our country needs to travel to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The Ares 1X flight is coming soon. For more information, visit www.nasa.gov/ares.